Amen. So here we are, church. Amen. Just wanting and willing and ready. Amen. To receive that word with you here today as we prepared, kind of enjoying, hallelujah, a little bit of the Christmas season. Amen. And just sharing with you guys all these wonderful things. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I just want to uh, take you straight into the word of God. Amen. Where then Mary begins to speak and say yes unto the house. Amen. It's something different when we begin to say, okay, you know what? Yes. Yes, I will, Lord. You know, I want to do... I want to do your will. I want to do your your calling, you know. I want to be able to hear from the word of the Lord and to act upon that word as well. Amen, church. And so here as we see out of the book of Luke, amen, how the Holy Spirit came and spoke to her and let her know, you know what, you are to be of the called. Amen. And there was a confirmation there within her spirit. That as she confirmed the yes, that I will, there was a process, then there was to be worked out within her lives to see, you know what, God's light is shining on this matter, amen? And that's where the purpose seemed to be so very hard, because sometimes the calling of God upon people's lives, amen, and upon our lives, amen, that, you know what, that sometimes you will find yourself in that hard place amen there's a very hard place called there amen but like i shared with you before being in that place that's called there you know god can meet you in that their place you know he is that jehovah shama he is that god that is ever so there in our present help in our time of need you know god wants that what's in your heart god wants that that is poured inside of you now then, to pour out and to give out to that unto the nations. Amen. So there was a bearing witness, a witness. I mean, I could just imagine through the trouble, through the heartache of her knowing, you know what, everybody else is going to see me. I have not even been yet intimate with a man, but yet to know that, you know what, now I'm pregnant, <laughs> you know, and I haven't had no intimate relationship with that, but because she said yes. And that's what I'm focusing on here today. Even in our everyday lives, can we say yes to God? Can we say yes to the living Savior? Amen. And because that was such a great, great miracle. I mean, to see that now that Elizabeth was as well. And he was going to be the forerunner of the Lord Jesus Christ. That she was to give birth to a John the Baptist. That in itself, a lady in her upper age to see that, you know what? God did this. God created that pregnancy, that confirmation. Amen. And that when she stood in that time and she was in the presence with Elizabeth, that there, that creation was given forth birth inside of her through the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that is such a blessing. Amen. That she was building up her courage. Come on now. She was building up her might. Hallelujah. You know, it was that time of incubation. It was that time that she was just feeding on the word of God. It was in that time that she was grabbing a hold of the promises of God. She was in that time that she was bringing that confirmation of what was happening even and Elizabeth is now is happening to her that, you know what? I felt this or I'm going through this or I'm going through that. And you know what? And for her to say, you know what? It's true. You are pregnant. Hallelujah. You are ever so pregnant that, you know what? Right before he could even see her, or even know where she was at. There she comes walking across the way, her and her pregnant self. And he's thinking, what happened there? It wasn't me. <laughs> you know, what happened there? And so sometimes people in the situations that surround us, come on now, that surround us and in our life are going to say, hey, you know, what happened there? What's going on there? 
you know, from one month to the next month. Now we're on the third month. Oh, and I see something happening. And it wasn't me. But when God is doing a work, he can work those impossibilities over and in our lives. And that's the blessing where it is, church. Because if it started with Elizabeth and Zechariah to bring forth that testimony, then for the woman of God to say, you know what? So be it. Here I am. Let God of the universe, the creation of everything and what I'm doing, you know what? To take heart, to take hold. And this is of the righteous call. This is of the righteous to take heed and to know that God is bringing that deliverance power mightily. You know what? God spoke a word over this lady that I know that she was in an incubated feeling, could not move, you know, and just pretty much, you know, you could probably say maybe even in a state of a coma. But you know what? God, God brings the impossibilities where it seems like those things were impossible. A God-given word to over her that you shall rise up on the third day. Hallelujah. Reminding that God took in all of our sickness, all of our infirmities, all of our inflammations. Come on now. All and any, everything that you can ever even ask or think of. Let God's will be done in this Christmas season. You know, I just want to share the love of Christ with you. And I pray that this season, I know you feel like you're tearing at the teeth. You know, but I'm telling you, God is doing a work. God is doing a work. And he loves you. And he loves you. And you may say, you know what? But all these things are happening to me. You know, I call them the, the beautiful peas. <laughs> the three peas in the pod. Amen. Because when there is purpose, you're going to go through a process. And sometimes in that process, there is pain. But you know what? You can turn that pain into power. And that power into possibilities through the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray that you receive this God-given word over your life today. Amen. Receive it. Take a hold of it. And I don't know where you find yourself. Maybe you already find yourself in a state as Elizabeth. Maybe you find yourself as the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's different seasons and plans and ordination upon each and every one of our lives. But know that the truth is said that there will be a birth and we shall call his name Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to do something a little bit more profound here. And I want you to listen up really sweet. You know, many that were called, but few are chosen. And even in the family of King David, had, a, had a brothers. Amen. Amen. And when Saul was supposed to, uh, well, he was king, but Samuel, Samuel, Samuel's in this picture. And the Lord sent him to anoint the next king because Saul was the king. But through his disobedience, his kingdom was then taken. And Samuel went to anoint the next king. And through the guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, he was going through all of his sons. Oh, this one could be because he looks great, he looks strong, he looks mighty. It wasn't in the strong. It wasn't in the mighty. And it wasn't even in the great. It was in the humbleness out there 
tending the sheep, working with the people, doing the work of the Lord, and just doing great things for the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, you have all this. Is this all that you have? He said, I have one more. <laughs> I have one more. And you know what, church, out of that one came right on in. And he received that anointing, that his cup overflowed that day. He didn't see the process right away to work in his life. It took some time. Come on, say that with me. It took some time. But that didn't mean it any less that he was an anointed king. And time was shown and time was told. So I'm not talking about any birth because there's a lot of different births. Amen. And this is the point. There's a lot of different births. But there's one. Hallelujah. That we shall call his name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. What a perfect in all his sense. For this Christmas season. To have more Christ. More of Jesus. Here, from my house to yours. So God bless you, church. Keep on moving forward, triumphing in the Lord Jesus Christ. And know that God has this. You, this Christmas. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.